You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government buy-in for the people. We reported extensively last year on the alleged tampering of electronic vote tabulators in Michigan following the 2020 election. The first of three trials is imminent, but after failing to appear at multiple court hearings, one election denier defendant faces even more charges. Reuters reports that Stephanie Lambert Juntilla was part of a team of lawyers connected to Sidney Powell, who led former President Trump's court challenges of the 2020 presidential election results. She was allegedly in the room when Matthew DiPerno, a candidate for Michigan Attorney General, and Dare Rendon, a Michigan State Representative, attempted to access the data in a Dominion Voting Systems electronic ballot tabulator in a suburban Detroit hotel room. The three were charged with conspiracy and unlawful possession of a voting machine last August. Trials were originally scheduled for early March, but according to the Michigan Advance, Lambert Juntilla failed to appear for two pretrial hearings, and an Oakland County judge issued an arrest warrant March 8th. Reuters later reported that March 13th, while under indictment and subject to an arrest warrant, she was in a Washington, D.C. courtroom representing Overstock.com CEO Patrick Byrne against Dominion Voting Systems' $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit. Lambert Juntilla's trial is scheduled to begin April 1st. We have more at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Beal.